welcome to the Hampton Road Show on this very special Veterans Day. Happy to have you with us. Thank Going in for you. Chris. Yes, and happy Veterans Day to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And to you, we actually have a lot of connection yep. uh, with military folks on the set today, and we'll talk about that. But it's great because I always get to hear how awesome you are on this show, oh. but I never get to see it because <laughs> you've been here filling in for me like I yes. have to be gone for you to be here but now Chris is gone mm -hmm. Chris is off on Veterans Day hmm. <laughs> but at least I get to work with you I know I finally all right also as always Simone Davis joins us today I know you've got some connections some family members uh, with the service and we're gonna talk about veterans a lot this morning absolutely all right let's get to trending news this morning Krispy Kreme is tapping into a new audience with their latest sugary creation and Ulta has a new home Ulta Beauty and happy Veterans Day to all all of the veterans and active duty military personnel across Hampton Roads. I have a list of freebies you can get your hands on. I'm telling you what, the uniform of the day should be sweatpants with all the food <laughs> freebies oh, that yeah. this community is doing. Oh, like yeah. a day for you to put your PRT in jeopardy, <laughs> maybe. All right, we'll look forward to hearing that list and much more on what's trending. Thank you, Simone. All right, we've got more of what you guys are talking about in Hampton Road, so let's get right to the buzz. While today is a very special holiday, we're going to be talking about Veterans Day throughout the morning, but we also have our eyes on Thanksgiving, especially after both Governor Ralph Northam and Governor Roy Cooper addressed the citizens of their states yesterday to urge people to stay cautious through the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. In North Carolina, the limit for indoor gatherings is going to slip back down to 10 instead of 24 as of Friday, and it's going to stay that way until early December. Uh, Governor Northam also suggested smaller, socially distanced, and if at all possible, outdoor gatherings for Thanksgiving. COVID cases, of course, are on the rise again in both states, and there's obviously potential for transmission when people get together indoors. So we're asking this morning if you've already adjusted your plans, if you're thinking about it, you know, what do you normally do for Thanksgiving, and how will it be different this year? Mm -hmm. I think, you know, I was talking with my family about this because we have a very big Italian family, and I was like, we're going to have to do some cutoffs this year because right. we have a lot of family members. Um, and one thing my mom was talking about, she's like, I think we're just going to do everything outdoors mm -hmm. in the patio so it's spread out. And I think they're going to, you know, chop the amount of people. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, do you think it's too early to ask um, the Super Doppler 10 weather team for like the monthly out the outlook all the way right? to Thanksgiving? Because weather matters it so does. much. It does. Unless you have like the, a patio covering if you're yeah, going to do true. something out, outdoors then I mean the weather really has to cooperate. Yeah. So mm -hmm. do you normally travel or there are is your family in the area they're down in South Florida okay so usually I will go see them but this year I am here and I will be doing stuff for Thanksgiving here yeah. so I'll just you know see them from afar mm -hmm. Zoom. Right. Thanksgiving is different every single year yeah. there is no I won't say there's no tradition in the Fury house I mean we always have the traditional meal mm -hmm. and things like that and but we've either had just very small just ourselves right and sometimes we'll do the we've done the adopt a service member program oh, in the years right, past yeah. we'll have a couple service members over other times we are putting the card table up to the dining table <laughs> and then more tables up to that we've had to do like the excess right. and the overflow sometimes it's just really huge uh -huh. but um, this year I think it will definitely you know lean smaller lean mm -hmm. outside if yeah. the weather holds my my family you know, there's at this time of year, we are from Massachusetts to Virginia to Florida. Oh, and, wow. And have always found traveling over the Thanksgiving weekend kind of stressful and yes, difficult. Very. So we stopped doing that, you mm -hmm. know, years ago. And we've all, it, it's always become kind of a Friendsgiving right, right. situation for all of us. And we usually get together at Christmas, which is like we're trying to figure out what I know. You, you just really don't know what to do. But, I mean, like you can always do the, the multiple Zoom meetings, you True, know, just like absolutely. I'm going to do with my cousins. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. But Maybe it'll Zoom be different. Apps. A yeah. Zoom cocktail hour before uh, before yeah. dinner. Yeah, Bring but you know, in. I mean, hopefully, folks will adjust and understand what's going on. We're already getting a lot of your comments on our social media page about whether you know the government should be able to determine your guest list. It's like they're just making recommendations. Mm -hmm. Just remember the intention, and ultimately, right. yes, I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do. Right, but right. Just the intention is safe. to keep everybody. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, with, with COVID-19 grocery shopping during the pandemic, that's yeah. changed a little bit too. So while there are plenty of us who probably still go to the grocery store and want to get the items themselves, there are also a bunch of people who have jumped on the online grocery shopping trend. Whether you shopped online and waited 
in a spot outside the store to pick up your groceries or had all of your groceries delivered to your home, COVID-19 has changed the way that people shop. Back in the spring when coronavirus was really ramping up, it was a little difficult to lock in an online grocery order. There was a shortage of a lot of things like toilet paper, cleaning products, but also there were people trying to order food online, so that was a little difficult too. There weren't a lot of time slots open to choose from. Since then, grabbing a time slot for delivery and getting items you need has become easier, but as we get into the colder months, some people may go back to strictly shopping online for food. So we wanna hear from you. Have you shifted to online shopping since the pandemic began? <laughs> I definitely have a hundred percent laughing because so many of my girlfriends have been doing this for years. Really? They've been doing the online shopping and the pickup. And when I first heard about it, I was like, somebody grocery shopping for me. Like, what am I, a princess? <laughs> I'm not doing that, you know, just, but then, but then uh, you've tried it. Well, last November I tore three ligaments in my ankle playing oh, soccer boy. Oh, boy. and I couldn't walk through the grocery. I couldn't walk anywhere. So and so that's it? when I started doing online. And now, I mean, I'm pretty hooked. I know, I know. That's my, that's my problem too. Even when I'm talking with my mom and she's like, what are you going to do today? I'm like, well, I'm going to go grocery shopping online. And she's like, oh, why don't you just go to the store yourself? But it really, it's so convenient. It's, it's so convenient. So convenient. And then my grocery store does a thing where it's, it's like four bucks mm -hmm. or you can pay a flat rate for the year and use oh. it you know, as many times, it's like, this is That's and great. Because I'm very disorganized, <laughs> it really works out for me because, you know, like my mom was so organized. She would go once a week or once every two weeks, she would put a cooler in the trunk and she had her three places for like her meat. She went for her produce. Wow. And I remember this because my brother and sister and I were always like in the back of her enormous Chevy <laughs> on grocery day. She'd bring stuff for frozen and she would get it done. Wow. And she would plan. She was set then. She yeah. was just organized like that. I am not. So okay. it's really, I, pl I pay that flat rate right. and then use it as many as many times. That's smart. I should really look into that because the amount of times that I'm doing it now and yeah. you know paying the fee every time, it'd probably be good for me to to do that. So yeah. I need to look into that a little bit more. And you know, it's just it's so convenient. I, I especially now that you know the cases are going up. Right. I think I'll just stick I to still it. I dash in there every now and then if right. I can't wait like mm -hmm. the four hours you know, right. for what I've forgotten. If it, but most of the time I and I was very judgy about it at first. <laughs> now she loves I it. I really was. I was like. Who can't do that for themselves? Mm. Yeah. No more. I love I it. Yep, yep. And I my agree. shoppers do a great job picking out even they the do. Veggies. Yeah, they do. No broken eggs. No, no, not at all. And they Thank do good shoppers. switching it out too if there's an alternative that's close. Yeah. And listen, one more thing uh, I just wanted to add before we transition back into Veterans Day is as you're thinking of your Thanksgiving and you are having to accept like the pain of not being able to see who you want to see, mm -hmm. like stay in that moment for one second and realize. That's what veterans families and military families feel right. all the time. Right, that's true. You know, so yeah. I wouldn't blame you, military families, if you're out there like, <laughs> yeah. really? You know what I mean? Like, right. It, hopefully it's just one year. But right. Take a note from those mm -hmm. folks. Be flexible. It's hard to go through. Adapt, right? Because mm -hmm. this is like their holidays all the time. So on that note, we are asking uh, all week to send in your photos and your stories of service to our Facebook change, uh, page pinned to the top. We've got yes. our, you know, salute to veterans. We'll share as many as we can later in the buzz. Um, but right now we're actually going to shout out another veteran from right here in the HRS family. You know this guy? I know this guy. That's my husband, Tommy. So he served 10 years in the Navy. He was a rescue swimmer. And this photo, there's, there's a little bit of funniness behind it. This was the last day that he was in the Navy. And leading up to this moment, he, he He's obsessed with reptiles. There's no other word to describe it except for obsessed. Is he? And yeah, so he he has a turtle sanctuary in our backyard where he saved turtles and some are missing limbs and had their shells cracked and were ran over by lawnmowers and stuff. They're all good now. They're safe. They're in their sanctuary. But he wanted to get a volunteer award for reptiles before he got out of the Navy. So he worked really hard and on the last day in his hand that is his volunteer award. And of course we had to have our, our Dalmatian Pongo in there. It may be hard to see, but it, up close he's smiling. You can see his teeth. Um, from time to time I call timeout <laughs> on the Empty Road Show. So timeout. You have a turtle sanctuary in your backyard. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Chris Reckling has not come to your backyard yet for a wreck on the road story about this. I know he really should. It, it's, I mean, we have a lot, a lot of turtles. The ones that are in the sanctuary are, um, there's five back there. And so, and they all, they all hang out with each other. They're, he dug this little trench thing where they go and they 
And Tommy sleep. likes to talk about this? Loves. He, I mean, obsessed. He has okay. his own, like, reptile Instagram. It's like, it never ends. Forget Chris. Tommy <laughs> is going to be in upcoming I Am Hampton Roads. I have to see this. I have to see this. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay. No, not Chris. Me. Uh-huh. I Am Hampton Roads. Please tell Tommy. Come on over. <laughs> All right. Well, for his care of animals, for his mm -hmm. service to turtles and his service to our nation, we appreciate Tommy very much and appreciate you as well because, you know, when one person in the family serves, it tends to involve everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we want to thank Pomoco Nissan of Hampton uh, Roads and McDonald's of Hampton Roads and Northeast North Carolina for sponsoring our Salute to Veterans this week on HRS. Okay, let us know your thoughts. We've asked you a lot. We've yep. asked you about what the governors had mm -hmm. to say yesterday of Virginia, North Carolina about the holiday, whether you are going right. to knock off your list online, mm -hmm. and also keep sending in those veterans' pictures and stories. The conversation is going on right now on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All of our social media handles are at HRS Wavy. So if you're not following us yet, do it today. All right, and don't go away because we're just getting started on HRS this morning. All right, if you're thinking about giving your home a salute by renewing those floors, Christy Prince Hale from 54 will tell us how to make it happen and save a little money while you're at it. Wavy TV 10 presents Veterans Voices, honoring those who served. At Fort Logan National Cemetery, Don Milne sees more than just names on headstones. That's why he launched Stories Behind the Stars. He spent years researching and writing about the fallen heroes of World War II. Sturdivant Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of Veterans Voices. To honor a fallen veteran, retire your worn flag at Sturdivant Funeral Home. Can't sleep? Make sleep problems a thing of the past. Thanks to a personalized solution at Dream Mattress Studio. It's mattress shopping made easy, online or at our real-life store. Sleep better for a dreamy price. Only at Dream Mattress Studio at Value City Furniture. to the holidays, some people have a lot of love to give. Like, a lot. Luckily, Kroger has a huge assortment of all your fresh favorites. So givers can keep giving all season long. Kroger, fresh for everyone. McDonald's of Hampton Roads in Northeast North Carolina sponsors Salute to Veterans Week. At Pomoco Nissan, we strive for excellence, and we think it speaks for itself. We've been awarded Nissan's highest honor, the Award of Excellence, for a record 12 times. J.D. Power's Dealer of Excellence, the only winner in Hampton Roads, and Coastal Virginia's Best of 2019 Award. No other Nissan dealership can claim that, but we know being the best takes the best people. Visit our award-winning team for sales or service. Can't sleep? Make sleep problems a thing of the past. Thanks to a personalized solution at Dream Mattress Studio. It's mattress shopping made easy. Online or at our real-life store. Sleep better for a dreamy price. Only at Dream Mattress Studio at Value City Furniture. Earn your degree in a high-demand industry with ECPI University. I went from days, nights, online. They have a schedule to fit your life. Online and on-campus flexibility. Career-focused programs. Zero to bachelor's in 2.5 years. Career services support. ECPI University. It's amazing. I love my job. Now I get excited to go to work every day. Accelerate toward your new career. Online, on campus, or both. ECPI University. Veterans Day, that's when we show our appreciation for all of our military and our veterans. But if your home needs a show of support, you can start with the floors. Christy Prince Hale from 50 Floors here to tell us how to make that happen. Hey, Christy. Hey, Carrie. It's so good to see you and hear you. Good to see and hear you, too. A lot of times we look around our house and we know something needs an update, but we can't quite put our finger on it. But it turns out our feet are on it. I could not agree more. That happens very, very often. It kind of goes unnoticed, and then all of a sudden it's like, ah, you can't unnotice it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, and it does make a really big difference. So how does the process start once you figure out, okay, it's my flooring that needs a little bit of an update. What's the next thing that folks should do? 
Well, we're gonna make it really, really simple for you. We're gonna come into your home and do a free consultation at a time that's convenient for you and your family. And 54 is gonna do the heavy lifting. We bring hundreds of samples to you in the comfort of your home. And what's so great about that is that you can match everything up and make sure the lighting and the decor is gonna go with your brand new flooring. All right, and once the decisions are made about which surfaces you want to put down in which rooms, I know installation day is where people really need to get ready for it to be a much easier day than they might imagine. Absolutely. You're not going to believe this. You actually get to sit back and relax because we'll take care of the heavy lifting then too. We're going to come in and move your furniture from room to room, install new beautiful flooring. We trim the job out and before we leave, don't worry, we will clean everything up. We take the old flooring with us, recycle any carpet you have. And what's really exciting is most of our projects can be completed in just one day. That is fantastic. I mean, just to know that the night before, it's not on us to prep the whole house, to tear up anything old, and that you'll take that with you. So we don't even have to figure out what to do with the old carpet because neighbors really don't like it when there's just a big old roll of old carpet on the curb. Uh, so 54 will take it and recycle it. Also nice for people to know you'll take that green approach wherever you can. I know that if that, everything you said, is not enough incentive, you've got some promotions going on this month, so lay them on me. I'm really excited because this month I know people are really looking for those good deals and this is a great one. We are offering 60% off materials this month. So give us a call to schedule that free in-home consultation, 877-50-FLOOR or go online at 50floor.com and don't forget to mention the Hampton Roadshow because you'll save an extra $100. All right, we really appreciate you doing that for our viewers. Thanks so much, Christy. Thank you, Carrie. All right, don't forget about those specials. They're right there on your screen. Call 50 Floor to get started today. That's 877-54 or buy the numbers, 877-503-5667. You can also start poking around today. Get some design ideas. Pick out your surfaces by calling 54.com. All right, here's a look at what's trending on social media. Of all its decadent flavors, Krispy Kreme has never before sold caramel glazed donuts. Until now, anyone with a sweet tooth or sweet and salty tooth may have a tough time resisting these caramel confections. From now through November 22nd, shops around the country will offer a caramel glazed donut and a salted double caramel crunch donut. The new flavors will disappear by the end of the month, so don't get too attached. Wow. Mm, I'm already <laughs> attached just by I the know. pictures. I know. It looks really good. I have a serious sweet tooth, so... I bet those are so good, too, like when they're hot, mm. when the little hot sign comes on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, limited time. Get out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if we needed another excuse to head over to Target, Ulta Beauty is in partnership to place shops in over 100 Target stores by mid-2021. Ulta and Target said Tuesday that the shops will be located next to Target's existing beauty sections and will mirror the beauty chain's existing stores. The partnership comes as coronavirus pandemic has led an increased customer service focus on one-stop shopping experiences as a way to minimize exposure to COVID-19. The deal, however, could hurt department stores like Macy's, which have already seen their share of their beauty businesses eroded even before the pandemic. Mm. Oh, boy. Well, Target. I mean, I get lost in Target. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's such you can a never problem. Never just buy one item. So right. now, right now, I love Ulta. Who yeah. knows how long? People do. That's a big retail space, though. It Ulta is. has a big storefront. So I'm thinking of the situation in Virginia Beach where there's an Ulta across the boulevard from, from a Target. Target. Yeah. It's like, what would go in that space? We'll have yeah. To watch it. Interesting. Hmm. All right, guys. Well, what you've all been waiting for, or well, at least for the veterans and military personnel, several restaurants are showing you all love. So here are a few freebies you can get your hands on. Chili's is offering a free dine-in meal from select menu items for all veterans in active duty all day long. Now, Duncan is offering one free donut for all veterans and active duty military all day as well. IHOP is offering a free red, white, and blue pancake combo for all veterans and active duty service personnel from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. But the deals go beyond restaurants. At Home Depot, veterans and active duty military can receive 10% discounts on select items during their in-store purchases. Good to know. Thanks. Walk it off. Yeah. In Home Depot. Yeah. So many things there. They all sound so good. I'm gonna have to write a list of these down and just tell oh, Tommy. Oh, you to don't have to write them down because if you want.
want the complete list, just head over to wavy.com under the military Perfect. tab, and there's a long list, and it's in alphabetical order. Oh, so we want to know what you think about all of these stories and more. Join in on the conversation. Let us know at HRS Wavy. Yeah. Wavy.com's got a great list of events, uh, in person and online events, to mm -hmm. celebrate the day. And we'll get well. to that as well. All right, still ahead on HRS from new menu items and Thanksgiving dinner. Chef Michael Kellum joins us with a look at what's cooking at Barrett Seafood Restaurant in Williamsburg this month. CGX offers name brands you know and love to all of our military families across the nation, like Garmin. Shop your local Coast Guard exchange or online at shopcgx.com. Discover Heritage Amish Furniture. Quality dining rooms, bedrooms and living rooms, carefully designed by the most skilled Amish craftsmen. Stroll through our selection to find the perfect style, then choose your desired wood and stain color. And Heritage Amish Furniture will have it built just for you. While you're there, relax and enjoy delicious dishes and homemade desserts in our cozy cafe. Inside, heirloom pieces you can hand down to your children. Heritage Amish Furniture, built to last for generations. CGX offers name brands you know and love to all of our military families across the nation, like Rothko. Shop your local Coast Guard exchange or online at shopcgx.com. your door passing you in the street is somebody who could use a meal while you may not be able to tell who's hungry you can help ensure your neighbors don't go without this holiday when you buy a food lion feeds box for five dollars you help feed your local neighbors in need together we're giving hope for the holidays because this is our home and that's our food lion double military discount of 1,000 priority Hyundai up to $47.50 cash back on a 2020 Santa Fe, Priority Hyundai. Up to $42.50 cash back on a 2020 Tucson, Priority Hyundai. Priority Hyundai, Priority Hyundai. It's fall buyback time at R.S. Andrews. R.S. Andrews will buy back your old inefficient HVAC equipment when we take up to $1,750 off your new heating and cooling system purchase. Dial Star Star Heat on your mobile to set up your HVAC system analysis. Beautiful day outside there, and it's almost lunchtime. And the folks at Barrett Seafood Restaurant in Williamsburg always have something fresh and delicious cooking. Joining us now from his backyard in downtown Toronto with more is Chef Michael Kellum. Are we really in your backyard? Yes, we're in our backyard. Where's today. Daisy? Daisy's right beside me, and I've got 11 chickens behind me also. Oh my God. All right, I hope none of them are for lunch. Let's talk to. Oh no. Let's talk. <laughs> Not that I don't like chicken, but, you know, I like that disconnect <laughs> between the ones running around in your yard and the ones yes. that end up on my plate. All right, so what's going well, on at uh, <laughs> what's going on at, um, at Barrett's? Well, Barrett's, we started our new menu several week, uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's been a huge success. We've had introduced some new sandwiches and some new dinner entrees. We've got a fried buffalo cauliflower sandwich with blue cheese slaw, a huge club wrap. We've got butter poached mahi. We've got herb crusted uh, salmon filet. We've got flounder. We just, we're going all out. Now, I've said this, like every time that we've talked to you or talked about Barrett's, you're set up really well for spacing people out. So are you still at 50% occupancy indoors? And I would imagine you're making good use of the patio areas too. Yes, we're still at 50% occupancy indoors, and fortunately, this weather has been so beautiful. Indian summer, we have uh, just been busy outside, and we've continued live music. So week by week, we're still getting musicians who are performing, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed that this happens for several more weeks. Listen, last time the fam was up there at Barrett's, we ate in our own little tent right by yes. the musician of the day. I mean, it was like... The kids thought it was extremely special. So glad to hear that the no. live music still continues uh, each and every week. Um, what about the monthly dinner special? This month, we're featuring Cajun crusted mahi filet with andouille sausage and a crispy crawfish cake with green tomato relish and remoulade sauce. And that's just, that's one of the most entrees you see on a tray going out. It's just been a, it's gonna, 
getting a lot of good response from guests. Mm -hmm. it sounds good. You know, we started the top of the show, Michael, talking about the governor's message, both in Virginia and North Carolina, to keep those Thanksgiving get-togethers really small. And while a lot of people are going to be genuinely sad that they can't cook for 20 or 30 people, I know there's people out there. I know it who are excited at, about this year maybe being the perfect opportunity to do something different. Maybe leave the cooking to you. Yes, we'll be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, we are taking reservations. We strongly recommend that you call at your earliest convenience because the past couple of days, the phone has been ringing off the hook and reservations are, are filling up. I'm sure that has a lot to do with how well you could prepare a Thanksgiving dinner and all the trimmings, but I also suspect um, desserts are a big part of that. So tell me what's going on with the after dinner treats. Our, all, all of our desserts are house made. Um, Thanksgiving, our full dessert menu will be offered. We have the turkey dinner for, it's gonna be $26 for adults. It's gonna be 16 for children 12 and under. And something that I really, just think makes Barrett's so special is that you get free uh, sides. I mean, you just keep you just keep on. You tell us when to stop. We'll keep on. We'll keep on serving it to you. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic! All right, let's look even further down the calendar if we can. Uh, let's talk about December. I want to know about Dancing Santa. Is he still? You still got him booked? Well, Dancing Santa's been practicing. He's been watching a lot of Solid Gold on YouTube. <laughs> December 5th and December 12th, Dancing Santa will make a special appearance at Barrett's from 12 noon to 3. And last year, he had his iPhone in his pocket, and one of those days, he danced eight miles in three hours. Wow. Steps-wise. Good for Santa. And okay, and he, just, uh, he needs to tighten his belt a little bit this year. <laughs> he needs to tighten his belt a little bit. So, you know, it's 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 going to be a ho, ho, ho extravaganza. All right. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Give give Daisy a little pet for us. Say hi to the chickens. Oh, I, I will. They're all family. All right, Michael. Oh, man, we miss you. All right. Barrett Seafood Restaurant, Tap House Grill in Williamsburg. Again, they have indoor and they have outdoor dining. There's live music, Sunday brunch. Make your reservations for Thanksgiving dinner by calling 757-253-1847. You can also connect online at Barrett's.com. And don't forget to join the preferred customer mailing list for weekly updates on menu specials, live music, and more. You gotta mark your calendar for those December dates too to see Dancing Santa. <laughs> All right, since we're talking about food, we might as well just keep the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about grocery shopping. I've actually always gone to the store. I've never tried it, but because of the pandemic, I have a lot of friends who've used Amazon. Right. Because oh, they yeah. have a deal with Whole Foods. They deliver it right to your front door. Yep. Yep. I haven't tried with that Prime. one yet, but. And, and, you know, what I also haven't tried is just ordering online and then going to the little pickup spot where you, oh, you yeah. drive through and you, they bring it out to your car. I haven't done that either, oh, but that's I'm the best. sure that, you know, that would just, you know, be just as easy, especially if you're already out doing some stuff or mm. coming home from work. Mm -hmm. So that'd be interesting. I remember when the way first came about, when I was working in Tallahassee three years ago and Walmart introduced this new, you right, know, right. this new gimmick, like, hey, we'll bring your food out to your car. Yeah. I was like, who's going to do that? And now, <laughs> everyone, everyone pretty much <laughs> does it. Yeah. Same. Yep, it, that's true. And you know what I was thinking of, especially when everything started with the pandemic and you were going online and you were trying to like get those slots for the day and there really weren't a lot. But I think now maybe because so many people are using it that it's something that maybe in the future, especially as we go into the colder months, that they're already thinking ahead and having mm -hmm. more slots open. That's the only thing, you know, I, I feel like that might be something that they've already thought of too. And now when you go into the grocery store, you. I personally just check out my own stuff because all of the lines are closed, all yeah. of the lanes are closed, and they you they have no choice pretty much but right. to check out your own stuff. But mm -hmm. let's read some of these comments. I'm gonna get to like two, three. Kimberly says we like picking our own foods. I don't drive, so grocery store is sometimes my only time I get out of the house when my husband takes me. Deborah says I still do my own shopping, but happy to have another option when needed. Melinda says we've been doing online grocery shopping. Uh, since having a heart attack two years ago. Wow, and I absolutely love it. They do a good job picking out fresh, the freshest items and saves time and money. Nice. Yeah, we don't think about that. Hmm. Yeah, Very cool. Yeah, it's like me. It was like a health situation yeah. before COVID. Right, yeah. right, right. Good. All right, we get it. Go. Feels great to be back, everybody.
Oh, they're back, baby. TV's longest-running primetime drama is back tomorrow night for a new season. Coming up, we'll get a preview of what's ahead with Ice T and Jamie Gray Hyder. Upgrade your home fast and save with 50 floor. 60% off all carpet, hardwood, vinyl, and laminate. Offer ends at the end of the month, so call now. Plus, save an extra $100 with promo code MAKO. Call 877-54. Pick up the phone, we'll be knocking at your door. At Southern Auto Group, get up to 20% off MSRP or pay zero interest for up to 72 months. Buy a new 2020 Jetta S for just $17,500. Only at Southern Volkswagen Greenbrier. DrivingSouthern.com. It's a fact. Two out of three Americans who qualify for Medicare do not receive all the benefits they deserve. You could be missing out. Now, Anthem Healthkeepers introduces a free Medicare plan checkup to make sure you receive all the benefits you qualify for in 2021. Call 1-800-931-4657 today and receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium. Benefits like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. And to help you stay healthy at home, you can have free prescription drug delivery, online doctor visits 24-7, and free streaming exercise classes. You can even receive money towards over-the-counter health items. Call 1-800-931-4657 today and feel confident you have all the benefits you deserve for 2021. You can receive extra benefits for a $0 monthly premium, like dental, vision, hearing, and prescription drugs. Call 1-800-931-4657 and make sure you're not missing out. Now through November 18th, join Planet Fitness for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Don't let stress weigh you down. Get up and get moving in a Squeaky Clean Club for just $1 down. Spread out while you work out with cardio distancing. And check the new crowd meter in our app to pick the best time to visit. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment. Hurry, deal ends November 18th. Now through November 18th, join for $1 down and $10 a month at any of our 14 area locations. McDonald's of Hampton Roads in Northeast North Carolina salutes our veterans and active duty military. This Veterans Day, get a free sandwich of your choice when you show your active duty or retired military ID. We love these guys, but accidents happen. 50 Floor has a special selection of products made just for pets. And right now, they're included in our 60% off sale. Plus, save an extra $100 with promo code MAKO. Call 877-54. Pick up the phone, we'll be knocking at your door. Hello, this is the Flight Ops crew from John C. Stennis Air Department. And you're watching yeah. the Hamptons Road, Road Show. Show. Welcome back to HRS on this Veterans Day. An easy way to honor the service and sacrifice of our military men and women is to learn their stories. Nine veteran residents at a Colorado senior community are sharing their memories of service through their words and photographs. Reporter Noel Brennan has more on today's What's Good. Oh, there was a picture here. Stories would stay tucked away. I don't know where it is. If veterans like Lyndon Matthews didn't keep telling them. Then I was in the Battle of Okinawa where I drove a duck. It's a vehicle that goes on in the sea and uh, in the water. Decades passed, but at 97. I had a birthday last week. Lyndon talks about the Navy like he did as a 19-year-old in uniform. I'm lucky to be here. But the things that happened earliest in their lives are, are deeply ingrained in who they are. Jenny and Dill so with Chelsea that Place Memory Care. Knowing that I know them deeply. Works with residents who live with memory loss. Yeah. That, that's me. In a lot of ways, I feel like I get to be the keeper of that history. On the day before Veterans Day, she won't keep history to herself. There's my picture. Yep, I know, good. handsome. So all of this was a surprise. Um, they didn't know that I did any of this in the dark of night. Right, that's me. The banners along Quincy Avenue salute nine veterans and their personal stories. And it's my job to synthesize those and, and put them out in the world for everyone to hear and to know. Living history we can learn from if we stop and listen. What they have to teach us is tremendous. And that was Noel Brennan reporting. Remember, if you see something that you think we should see, tag us on social media at HRS Wavy and use the hashtag What's Good. Well, you know, shopping 
getting the stuff, bringing it home. It's one of those things we just have to do, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Joining us now with some tips on how to get the products you need in store or curbside is social media consultant and founder of Mom Generations, Audrey McClellan. And Audrey, I already feel bad because the way I said, like, I have to go get the stuff. I've already shown you how I feel about shopping. Some people like it, but um, we all are interested in saving time and money. So we should start there. Absolutely. And I get it because everybody is different and so many different needs right now need to be met. So, you know, I'm a big shopper and fan of BJ's Wholesale Club. And, you know, what I love about them is that one-stop shop for everything, groceries, household essentials, technology, and they just launched curbside pickup. So this would be great for you. So, you know, you just order online or right on the app. Uh, BJ's notifies you when your order is ready. You pull into a designated parking spot, check in, let them know you're there right on your app. And then a team member comes out with all of the items that you ordered and they pop them right in your vehicle. And I love this because it's easy, but it's contact free. So really important right now for people to have this option. Yeah. So that's, that's huge to have curbside pickup at a store like that. And so is everything on the app? Because the great thing about BJ's is you could go in there for like milk and eggs, <clears throat> but you also find like yoga pants and a sea kayak i mean like the seasonal items are changing that section in the middle that's always the most fun so is everything on this app so not everything is on the app some of the uh the clothing like you just mentioned the yoga pants um you know that does vary but again all of the household essentials all of your groceries you're going to get the toys there you're going to get the technology so uh, uh a huge majority of what you are shopping for is yeah. right there in the on the app and also right on BJ's if you can shop right online. So, you know, they also have two other ways to save you time because like you said, it is about saving time right now. And they do same day delivery for their groceries. So you can order your groceries online and they'll be delivered to your front door in as little as two hours. Or you could shop online and pick up in club. So maybe you're you're at work and you're putting your order in and you know you passed right by BJ's on your way home. You can pop into the uh, club and grab your, your order right there. So they've really made these different options for everyone looking for different needs, which I think is so helpful right now. That is awesome. Okay, so if, it, if folks have not uh, shopped at BJ's before and they're interested, now that they know that they could shop in person, curbside, or even have delivery, how can people get a membership? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can get a membership two ways. You can either go online to BJ's.com and you can fill out a membership right online, or you can head into your local club and fill out a form right there and uh, you'll be able to shop on the spot. So those two ways are the easiest uh, ways to do it. Okay, and then once you're in, you're set with these services. We appreciate you letting us know about them, Audrey. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the time. Okay, enjoy your fall. The holiday season kicks off this weekend at Busch Gardens in Williamsburg. We'll have details and more of your Hampton Roads happenings on the other side of the break. Girl chat is never a chore. Would you guys ever hire a hot guy to work at your house? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plus, from Jingle Jangle, we welcome Anika Noni Rose and Madeline Mills. Today at 2 on Wavy TV 10. We love a mic drop. If you come to me and you ain't made, and you're nasty. <laughs> Wednesday, Todd Chrisley, plus Hot Topics. That'll get you over the hump. Today at 3 on Wavy TV 10. Your news every hour in primetime is on News Nation on WGN America. We have correspondents stationed in those battleground states outside the White House, also in Delaware. Election night, News Nation was in more cities across America than anyone else to bring you reports and reaction on the ground. News Nation covers your nation every night starting at 8, 7 central on WGN America. Go to WGNAmerica.com to find WGN America on your cable or satellite provider. If you live in Virginia and don't have dental insurance, listen to this important message. I know how important it is for my patients to maintain their dental health. That's why I'm so pleased Delta Dental has plans for individuals and families designed to fit your budget. Your dentist may already be part of our network. You'll have a choice of Delta Dental individual and family plans that cover exams, cleanings, fillings, crowns, and more. So call now. Call 844-SMILE-57. Call now.
Hybrid Air. We're ready. More than 900 people work at Yokohama's tire plant right here in Virginia. And r, r Tire Express is Virginia's Yokohama headquarters. Supporting our community and their families is what being your local tire shop is all about. r, &R Tire Express. At Pomoko Nissan, we strive for excellence. And we think it speaks for itself. We've been awarded Nissan's highest honor, the Award of Excellence, for a record 12 times. J.D. Power's Dealer of Excellence, the only winner in Hampton Roads, and Coastal Virginia's Best of 2019 Award. No other Nissan dealership can claim that, but we know being the best takes the best people. Visit our award-winning team for sales or service. Time to get the scoop on what's happening in Hampton Roads. This weekend, two local veterans are joining forces to host the second annual Days of Summer Fashion Show. Now, this is a two-part event that will feature a vendor fair with local entrepreneurs selling their products, followed by a fashion show showcasing ensembles from local and national designers. Organizers hope this event gives creatives a proper space and platform to show off their talents. To support the small businesses and creatives who have been hit, um, you know, by COVID, because I feel like you know, businesses in the area have been really, really crushed, especially the events industry. Models will wear masks. Guests will be spaced out six feet apart. Temperature checks and attendants will also be asked to wear masks. Also, the Days of Summer Fashion Show will take place Sunday, November 15th at the Neon House in Norfolk from 1 to 5 p.m. Tickets for the show are currently on sale for 25 bucks online. Kick off the holiday season the right way in Williamsburg at Bush Gardens Christmas Celebration. Park guests can safely celebrate the holidays as they stroll through plenty of outdoor space during this new limited capacity experience. Sparkling lights, beautiful decorations, festive foods, live seasonal music, exciting coasters and attractions, plus shopping with physical distancing will make the spirit of the season come alive. So check it out. It is all day. Uh, it is the Bush Gardens Christmas celebration will offer day and evening reservation windows on select dates on November 13th through January 3rd. For more information, visit www.bushgardens.com. Nauticus and Battleship Wisconsin are hosting a Veterans Day celebration. So starting today, the museum will host its virtual Veterans Day program. Then on Saturday, November 14th, educational programming will happen throughout Nauticus and World War II reenactors will be on the Battleship Wisconsin. So from today through Saturday, veterans and active duty military will receive 50% off admission for combo tickets purchased online or at admissions desk. And you have to have your military ID or proof of service. So for more information on what's happening around Hampton Roads, visit HamptonRoadsShow.com and click on the Living Local tab. Well, Law & Order SVU returns to NBC tomorrow night for its 22nd Ripped from the Headline season. It is the longest-running drama in American television history. And joining us now is Ice-T, SVU's seasoned Detective Finn Tutuola, and Jamie Gray Hyder, Detective in Training, Kat Tamman. Hey, you guys. Hey, what's Hello. up? Hello. Hey, it must be so good to be back to work. I'm sure you've been back for a while, but now we finally get to see the results as fans so what's it been like first of all take me back to the kind of unplanned ending of the last season and what it's been like to kind of try to pick up in every place we left off well i'll tell you how it ended and then jamie will tell you how we got back all uh, right we i went in one day and i went in one day and I, I had i was in the second scene and they came in my trailer they said they just pulled the plug what are you talking about they said they just shut us down for COVID. Now, we had three more episodes that we were planning on shooting, but that was over, so our hiatus started. Now, usually we'll have a, a, a month, a two-month hiatus. This was like going on five months, so everybody was really ready to get back to work. Uh, and Jamie will tell you, they brought, they brought us back, but now we have a very stringent COVID protocol. We do. Um, much like kind of you know, we ended this season in sort of a cliffhanger with Finn's character in particular. Mm -hmm. um, and we started to sort of touch on the pandemic coming into the world and where we pick up um, both in the narrative and sort of in the world is very much true to life. 
we as characters we wear masks you know they're usually present whether they're on our face or kind of we're holding them um to reflect the current times but then off screen we're always wearing masks we have testing every day we have temperature checks every six hours anyone who comes into contact with um, the actors who have to be on stage without the mask they all are tested every day um the show has really done a fantastic job with keeping the protocols strict but we're still able to do what we love and we're still able to do it well so i think it was kind of a balance between safety and creativity and i think we kind of have found a really good sweet spot yeah well i mean your sweet spot has always been taking things from the headlines that's what you've kind of been known for so i think while other shows may be wrestled with should we incorporate COVID into the storyline uh, it just kind of has to be done for you as does touching on issues of civil unrest and uh jamie you mentioned too with uh, ice t's character ice your character finn uh his career's in jeopardy for using deadly force now we're going to see within the first few seasons according to my notes uh svu address civil unrest so for a character a black man police officer uh dealing with civil unrest in a pandemic all eyes are going to be on on finn and how do you feel about that in terms of playing him now i mean it's complicated you know yeah. right now in the real world a lot of people a lot of people are upset with the police you know unfortunately the cop i play on this show we're chasing rapists and pedophiles you know so if there's anything such as a cop that cannot get caught up in any of the, you know, mm. corruption. I'm about as legit a cop as you can get because I'm really chasing really bad people. But I got myself into a situation where I thought I was saving a kid and his mother. The father got killed. I ended up killing him. Turns around, the, the mother is mad at me. So you're going to see that. You're going to see Finn deal with that. You're also going to see us deal with uh, racism, uh, police I guess that mine would be considered police brutality. Um, just all the different things that we've done, dealt with over this uh, break. So, uh, and we're hitting them head on. You know, you're gonna have Mariska asking herself, is she racist in the first mm -hmm. episode? Mm -hmm. But I think we need that. You know, I know it's a, it's a fictional show. However, I think a lot of people have come to look to this show for a deeper understanding of the issues. Do you, Jamie, do you, you know, was that talked about as you were joining the show last, last season? Was it kind of that conversation about, sure, you're acting, and yes, this is fictional. However, you know, there's some responsibility with these storylines, too. I think that we do a really good job of trying to sort of hit on the many different ways that somebody could feel right now. Yeah, I want to give you the opportunity to answer that, that same question. Um, I don't know if I should call, I don't, I don't feel like I'm privileged enough to call you Ice, but it doesn't feel right to call you Mr. T either. But I want you to be able to answer. Mr. T has a mohawk. I know, I think, I think clever Lang when I think Mr. T, but thank you for saying I can call you Ice. So Ice, uh, same question, yeah. you know, about the responsibility of handling these topics in a certain way, even though it's fiction and even though they're characters, I think a lot of people are looking to this show to better understand what is happening in the headlines. But see, one thing it is, it is fiction and it's the writers. The writers have to write uh, what we say, you understand? So our character is still acting out what the writers wrote. So it's really the job of the writers to put it in our mouth, all the different things that we're thinking about. And they do an exceptional job. They do an exceptional job. But uh, the way they write so well, you really think we're talking. You think, oh, I, that's how Ice-T really feels. <laughs> this is just called great writing. Now, as far as um, us having a... Uh, how, I, what, we, what am I looking for? Like, it's, it's our duty to do this. I think that's the way the show feels. The show feels it's their duty that their characters play this part out, you know, in this particular way. But it's not us. We don't write the show. We just kind of, like, act it out. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think, that, I think the writers will appreciate the nod to the great writing, but there is great acting going on in this show, too. So kudos to both of you. Thanks so much for making time for us tonight, and we will be watching when season 22 premieres Thursday night. Thank you. Thank you so much. 23. Make that 23, right? 22?
a long time, that's for sure. Longest running primetime drama on TV. Law & Order SVU season premiere is tomorrow night at 9 o'clock right here on Wavy TV 10. That was the coolest thing that happened to me yesterday. <laughs> Ice tea telling me I could cook. go ahead and call him ice. Oh, ice. I was raised in a way that you say Mr. T when right. you're dressing, but then it's like, that's what, whatever. You guys are big tough now. You know? All right, we're going to keep going uh, with our shout outs to veterans. We've been asking you to send your pictures and your stories of service, and we've got a lot of great ones. Um, Teresa sent in this one. She says, Home of the Free Because of the Brave. Sent this beautiful picture. Uh, of her and her husband there, U.S. Air Force retired major. Thank you for your service. Megan sent this one in, U.S. Coast Guard, 1993 to 1997. Wow. And she says, I have more sea stories than I should. Girl, I know. That, those are like almost the same years as me. Good for you. Uh, Cindy says, I'm so proud of my veteran. Uh, United States Navy, 1989 all the way to 2015. Thank you so much, Cindy, for sending in this picture and thanks for your uh, service. Um, let's get to another picture here. This is from Clyde, U.S. Navy retired, uh, served from 1979 to 1996. Looking good, thank you so much, Senior Chief. Okay, look, Darlene sent in her boot camp graduation picture. 1988 to oh, 1998, did a solid 10 years in there. Oh my gosh, I remember that outfit. <laughs> uh, thank you for sending that in. Thank you for your service. She also then went back into the Merchant Marines oh. from 2007 until 2019. Uh, Mike served in this picture. Okay, this goes back to 1969 all wow. the way to 1990. Thank you so much for your service there. All right, got another one. Dennis, 1993. To 2017 he says what a wild ride awesome and we know this area is just loaded with veterans oh, yeah. and we thank you and appreciate them all okay here's one from Ann wow that's a classic oh my goodness she didn't send uh, information there but great picture I'm loving all these pictures these are amazing yep they keep going oh here's another one that's boot camp no. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the boot camp photo uh, from Gerald thank you so much for sharing that Leon sent a picture. I'm going to guess that you were you are the veteran, Leon. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for your service and for sending in a little selfie. Oh, there's another one from Leon, too. Oh, that's a cool picture. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. All right, wow. We got through almost all of the ones that came in. Phew, so glad. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending the pictures. I just want to make sure that we um, got them all. Here's another one to Dealey. Thank you for your service. Thank you for sending in this picture as well. Looks like something going on with, that's what we call the grip and grin. I'm sure Tommy has <laughs> a smile, bunch of these, yes. right? Where it's like you're getting yes. an award or a certificate or you've re-enlisted. That's pretty awesome. Linda says both of her grandfathers served in World War II. Only one survived. She said, my dad was U.S. was U.S. Air Force stationed overseas. My older brother also served when he came of age, as did I in the 70s. He said, my husband is retired and our son is currently serving. So it does become a family thing yeah, uh, yeah, for a absolutely. lot of people talking about the generations mm -hmm. of service in there. Simone, who have you got in your um, family that you want to shout out? My mom's sister, my auntie June, she was in the Army from mm -hmm. 79 to 85, and then my grandfather my dad's dad who lives in Woodbridge right now yeah but yeah he served in the military for army for years he went to Vietnam he never talks about it uh, rightfully so but yeah I was gonna ask about that I was gonna ask if you know it took me I don't know how old I was when I I always noticed that my dad had the Eagle Globe and Anchor tattoo but he didn't talk about being in the Marine Corps like all the time yeah, I feel yeah. like I was kind of pretty far along in life to be like wait what what right you're a Marine you know, right. I mean, he was kind of like me. He did one and uh, one or two enlistments. It was a total of, of six years, but mm -hmm. very supportive of the troops now. And I mean, he's the one that told me that's where uh, my hiney belonged. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a bit adrift in life, he's the right. one who said, mm, maybe the military's for you too. Go. <laughs> he was totally right. Yeah, no, <laughs> totally that's right. awesome. All right, we're going to take another quick break. Thanks again for all of your photos and shout outs. We'll keep it going for the rest of the week. So keep sending them and we'll be right back. Well, that's going to cost me a ton. You know, priority used cars include a lifetime engine guarantee. Now you tell me. Mom, we tried to tell you. You should have bought it at Priority. Should you make your next used car a priority? You're hurt on the job and already getting some workers' compensation benefits. But are you really getting all the benefits you are owed? There is a way to find out. Make the free and confidential call to a powerful law firm. 
One that has helped thousands of workers get more for their injuries. That's why I called Calfus and Nackman. Someone who knows workers' compensation claims. Don't settle for less. Put experience and knowledge to work for you. Call Calfus and Nackman on the Hurt Line right now. At Norfolk Air Heating and Cooling, our technicians are ready to face an array of emergencies you might be facing any time of the year. Move it! Whether it's plumbing. Time drill, Sergeant. That's a company record. Or air conditioning. Go. We are available 24-7 all year to service or replace with an American standard heating and air conditioning unit. Norfolk Air is your one-stop shop for all homeowners and businesses in the Tidewater South Side. Call us today. You are now the Norfolk Air Technician. At East Coast Appliance, we love the sound of freedom, so we're having a Veterans Day sale to celebrate. For three days only, you can save up to $500 on your appliance purchase. And we're offering 0% financing through 2022. Plus, you can save up to 75% off our huge scratch and dent inventory. Shop safely by phone, video chat, online, or in our stores. The Veterans Day sale at East Coast Appliance. The best price, or it's free. $85 for an oil change. You know, priority used cars come with oil changes for life. On used cars? On more than 2,000 used cars. Go ahead, just say it. I should have bought it at priority. Shouldn't you make your next used car a priority? <laughs> Ready for some good news? Home sales are really strong. More than 2,000 homes on Rain.com were sold last month alone. Some sold in less than a day. So if you've been waiting for conditions to improve, wait no longer. Call your agent now and get your home listed on Rain.com. Rain.com is the best home site with local knowledge, most accurate information, photos, and videos. And if you're buying a home, you should act now too because the best homes go first. Start your search at Rain.com. Local home listings you can trust. All right, well, before we wrap up here today, we did want to say thank you to Pomoco Nissan of Hampton and McDonald's of Hampton Roads and Northeast North Carolina for sponsoring our Salute to Veterans Week on HRS. Yes, and we're going to keep doing it for the next couple of days, so please keep sending in those photos. Uh, thank you so much, Christy Prince-Hale from 50 Floor, and also thanks to Chef Michael Kellum from Barrett Seafood Restaurant, even though we did not get to see... Daisy or the chickens. Mm -hmm. Very nice of him to join us from home today and talk about what's going on at Barrett's. It was. And thank you to Ice-T and Jamie Gray Hyder from Law & Order SUV. He said I could call him. you rather. Did you hear him say I could call him Ice? I did. I did. I mean, you guys are on like first name best friends now. now. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> All right. And thank you so much to you for sitting in with us. Now, oh, I get, now I know what everybody was talking about, about what a good job you do on the Hampton Road. You really do, but I hope you come back. I will. I'll be back sometime next week. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll be with you. Or Chris, but I'll be happy to be here either way. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> just stay tuned. You never know who will show up here. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're headed over to thehamptonroadshow.com, and we'll see you tomorrow. a place where we come together. It's a place where we unwind and wind up. Where we can kick off our shoes and know we're right where we belong. This is where we are most comfortable, most ourselves, most happy. This is home. Great moments deserve great furniture. We are Value City Furniture. 12 years ago, my mom suffered a cardiac arrest. She now has vascular dementia. I completed my studies to become a registered nurse. I decided to take care of my mom myself. There were other people out here in the community that wanted the same thing that I want. Love thy neighbor. We do provide training for family member or someone that they trust to ensure safety in the home. My name is Michelle Tenner, and I'm the owner of Love Thy Neighbor. Get an internet experience that puts you at the center. Cox Internet, starting at just $29.99 a month for a 10 minutes.